two men are warded in serious condition following a shooting in Maloney on Sunday night. According to initial reports, residents of Kiskadi Drive in Maloney heard a series of loud explosions around 10 o'clock. Upon investigating, they found two men lying on the road, bleeding from multiple gunshot wounds. The police and paramedics were notified and the injured men were taken to the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex. Officers from the North Central Task Force, as well as the Maloney Police Station, responded. Several spent shells were recovered at the scene of the shooting. Police have no motive for the gun crime. One man is in police custody after he assaulted and robbed a 49-year-old man in front of the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception in Port of Spain. TV6 was told that the incident took place around 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. on Sunday. The victim was about to enter his Toyota Corolla, which was parked along Independence Square North, when he was confronted by a man he did not know. The suspect pushed the victim into his car before grabbing the gold chains that he was wearing. The suspect then casually walked away and warned the victim that if he tried to follow him, he would be killed. The police were notified and a team of officers responded. They were able to detain the suspect after a short pursuit along George Street. The stolen chain, which was valued at $3,500, was recovered. The 29-year-old, who is said to be from Duncan Street in Port of Spain, was arrested and charged and is expected to appear before a master of the court this week. The double murder of a 37-year-old nurse and a 35-year-old man in Sangre Grande on Sunday morning is suspected by police to be gang-related. The deceased star uh, Sherry Ann Stalandi of Oscar Pyle Crescent, Faze for La Hokita, and Kevon Shrek Lucas of Voodoo Highway in Sangre Grande. The two were found shot dead inside a Hyundai Elantra vehicle around 4.40 a.m. on Sunday. Crime scene investigators recovered 10 spent 9mm shells, one live round of 9mm ammunition, 18 spent 5.56mm shells and three projectiles. Salandi's relatives did not speak to the media when approached at the Forensic Science Centre in St. James. However, investigators believe that Salandi was a casualty of the actions of gunmen who were targeting Lucas. Police said that Lucas was well known to law enforcement, having been linked to several firearm-related incidents. An unidentified man was shot and killed in Laventil this morning, bringing the murder count closer to 400. According to investigators, the shooting occurred at Straker Village around 11.40 a.m. The man appeared to be in his mid-30s of African descent, was found lying face down off the road with multiple gunshot wounds. This year's murder count now stands at 391. A pharmacy employee who went to make a deposit of $50,000 at the Republic Bank branch in Center City Mall today was allegedly robbed. Police say details of the robbery remain unclear, but the employee claimed that he was accosted and robbed by unknown assailants along the Shogunas Main Road on his way to the bank this afternoon.